We're here at Best Buy at Dartmouth Crossing. We're here for the Nintendo Experience. This is a first-time partnership between Best Buy and Nintendo where gamers can come in and play some of the unreleased demos. It's going to be a great event. They're expecting a big crowd. Let's check it out. All right, we're here with Jameson. Jameson, tell us a little bit about what's going on at Best Buy here today. Well, Stephanie, today we have our exclusive Nintendo E3 event where you have access to play four exclusive titles that aren't released on the console yet. So people get to come in, they get to try out these games, they're not released. What titles do you have here today? We have Mario Kart 8, we have uh, Super Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Country Jungle Freeze, and we also have the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker remake, so it's very exciting. Awesome. Is there any particular you're kind of looking forward to playing? Can't wait to get my hands on Mario Kart 8. New features, looks incredible. So you're a gamer yourself? Absolutely. So what else are you playing right now? Uh, it's always Smash Bros for me. Brawl, anything, I love Super Smash Bros. Can't wait for the new one on the Wii U. And you're excited to play as Mega Man? They just announced Mega Man as a new character? I cannot wait. Great addition. Awesome. So tell us about what kind of support the Best Buy offers for gamers. Well, at Best Buy, we're, you know, we really focus on the gaming community. So we have our Gamer Club Reward Zone card. We also sell and do trade-ins and pre-orders. And uh, we also offer a lot of accessories for PC gamers. So we want every faction of gaming to be covered by us. Awesome. So what can you do for us here today? Well, for you guys, especially since it's a big event, we're going to get you to the front of the line, have access to all four games first. And I got this great Mario Kart hat for you. So wear this while you're racing. Sweet. Let's do it. So I just finished playing all the demos, let's kick it off with Mario World 3D. I played pretty much every Mario game up until now, so this, even though it's more of the same, I mean it's great. The 3D looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I've always played as Toad, so naturally I played as Toad. I find that this game gets a little bit complicated when there's four players. You end up in a bubble, there's there's so much going on, it's hard to like keep track of everything. It's hard to go where everyone else is going, so I'd be interested in seeing what this might be like with just two players. I probably would have played as Peach, but someone else got to her before me, so I, I usually go with Toad when I'm playing this game, so that was my go-to. So each of them kind of has their own special power. Luigi can jump really high, Princess Peach can float in the air, and Toad's really fast. What does Mario do? I don't even know. So next up is Mario Kart. I really enjoyed it. I picked Yoshi naturally. I have been picking Yoshi for every Mario Kart game I've played up until this point, which has apparently been eight. <laughs> The game is awesome. I mean, it's Mario Kart. You'd have to do an awful lot to screw up Mario Kart. But there's some new features in this game. Uh, there's some sort of like kite mechanism, and you have to like maneuver your way around like towers of Goombas, which is kind of complicated. But I got through it, and I think I came in fourth overall. And apparently, there's parts of the map where you can drive upside down, so that's kind of cool. Donkey Kong is awesome. It looks absolutely amazing. Dixie Kong is back, but I didn't really get the chance to play as her, so I just played as Diddy. <laughs> We got the chance to check out the new minecart level, which was awesome. A little bit complicated, I couldn't figure out when to duck. I had to get a little bit of guidance from the Nintendo guy, but we got through the level. <laughs> As a massive Zelda fan, I've actually never played uh, The Wind Waker. And it's unfortunate that when I was in the selection screen, I actually chose the boss demo as opposed to the level demo, but we couldn't change it at that point, so I actually ended up just running around doing nothing. <laughs> It's in high definition, so I mean, obviously the game looks absolutely amazing. Even though I haven't decided that I was going to play Wind Waker up until now, I think I'm going to give it a shot. And we're out of time. Great time here at the Nintendo Experience. Can't wait to play the games as soon as they're released. Thanks for hooking us up, Best Buy.